this is Tyler, who I just woke up. Sorry. He is my nine-year-old West Highland Terrier. He was diagnosed with diabetes in March of this year, and it's now May, so we've been at this for a couple of months. And before I start, um, my husband just told me I should probably mention I'm not a vet um, or have any formal training in dog diabetes, um, but I have done a lot of research in the past few months. Um, and I've been managing Tyler's care at home um, for a few months now. I'm also a member of um, a few blogs and forums, websites that I found that are so helpful, um, as is YouTube. Um, helped me with testing him, doing home testing, and giving him his shots and everything. So we decided that we would make some videos to post to help um, other people, because it really helped us in the beginning. Um, so here's kind of some information that I've found out um, about choosing glucometers for home testing, which is a very important part of managing your dog's diabetes. Um, it was very scary at first, I'm not going to lie, I was literally shaking and sweating and it was a mess, um, but now it's no big deal and it's just part of our routine, so stick with it and you'll be fine but I'm gonna do another video on actually doing the testing. I think Tyler's had enough of me moving around. Um, so, let's get started. So here is the first meter I bought. This is a human meter. Um, and let me just say also my vet um, tried to dissuade me from purchasing a human meter for Tyler because um, they do test differently from the dog ones. I'll get into that in a second. Um, but it all basically comes down to money. Um, this is a fraction of the cost of the ones made for dogs, but I'll touch on that in a moment. Anyway, so this is the Rely On Prime. It is $14.98. It is from Walmart. Walmart has an amazing range of very inexpensive home diabetes management supplies. Everything you need from your insulin, your syringes, your lancets, your strips, your everything you can think of. Um, ketone strips if you want to do that also. So yes, I purchased this one first and it has the most inexpensive testing strips which come in at $9.98 for a box of 50. Um, now bear in mind each state is a little bit different um, with the pricing. I live in Florida so that's where I got these. So that's roughly 20 cents a strip. Um, the problem I had with these strips um, is that they require 0.5 microliters of blood um, to get a reading. The other ones we're going to look at only require 0.3, so it's almost half. And Tyler doesn't bleed very well. Um, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes getting the sample. Um, so getting that little bit extra was just really difficult for us very frustrating for me and for Tyler and obviously you want to make testing as quick and easy as possible for both you and your dog um, so this just didn't work. Um, if you're doing well with getting blood samples and you're getting good blood samples then this one will definitely work for you um, but sadly it didn't work for me and Tyler. So then I tried the Reliant Confirm. Um, also made for Walmart. Um, looks like this in the box. It also comes in red if you would like a red one. Um, $14.98 also. The strips are a little bit more expensive but you can buy them in a box of 100 which gets the cost down a bit too. So the box of 100 was $35.88 um, which comes to around $0.36 cents a strip. This only requires 0.3 microliters and um, I find it very easy to use now that I've switched over to it. Um, I love it. Um, I also like this one beeps when it has collected the sample. The Rely on Prime does not beep. So that might also be a factor you might want to take into consideration. My dog, um, depending how you look at it, is deaf. So he doesn't mind the beep. But I've also read on some posts that the dogs jump with the beep. Um, I don't have to worry about that, like I said. Now, the one thing you are going to have to 
take into consideration using a human meter is it is going to read differently from a doggy meter because this is calibrated for human blood, not for doggy blood. So what I did, and I would suggest you do too, to figure it out for yourself, is I just made a very simple chart. So every single drop of blood I tested for about a month, I would test first with the dog meter and then immediately after with this. And I would subtract the numbers, see my average. Um, that way I figured out it's normally about, I add about 40 on to his number depending where he is on his scale. Um, but that's definitely something you'll have to figure out for yourself. Um, don't use my numbers because um, every dog and every meter is different. That's another thing you're going to learn. There's not an exact science to this. It's uh, kind of guessed amazing most of the time as long as you're in the right ballpark. Okay, so this is the Alpha Track. This is made for dogs. Um, this is the original Alpha Track. I actually got this from my vet. Um, they gave it to me for free when Tyler was diagnosed because they're so nice. Um, saved us a lot of money in the beginning. Um, I don't think you can buy this anymore, but you can buy the Alpha Track 2, which looks exactly like this, except it is purple. You can purchase that on Amazon.com. And I believe it is around $100 for this. So already $100, $14. The strips. Um, you're going to purchase the Alpha Track 2 strips. Um, these work both with the Alpha Track and the Alpha Track 2. Now these strips cost $55 for 50 strips. So that is just over a dollar a strip, which is a little bit more than the other ones, as you can see. Um, and it's unfortunate that they're so expensive. Um, I don't know why they're so expensive, but they are. So, um, unfortunately it came down to money for me and realizing that a year's worth of this, not including glucose curves, was gonna be around $750 just in test strips compared to $250 for this one in test strips. It's kind of a no brainer as to what one you're gonna use. Um, I was apprehensive at first switching to the human meter because I was so used to relying on my alpha track. Um, but I've been doing it for just over a week now and I would say I'm really comfortable with this and I have my math all figured out. I have a cheat sheet written out. It's like second nature now. So I hope that's been informative and helpful. And like I said, testing can be scary in the beginning, but now it's literally second nature when I get up in the morning. Um, and after a while your dog will get used to it too and it's not as scary as it seems so hope that helps